Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, this is a move I never use, the, the snap change. I never use it, so I'm no good at it. So I'm not going to try and teach you how to do it. Thank God for that. But what I am going to try and do is show you different handling to it. Because you know with the normal snap change, you keep hold of the packet, you pick the cards up, Oops, all nice and square as one, you show them, and then you do a snap to get that card behind, put it on the packet behind this card, and you're nice and clean with the one card. Only drawback is, yes, their card ends up on the top, so if they want, they have a quick look at the packet or the top card, well, that's their card, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so you know how to do that one. The slightly different handling. Again, you still need to get your double pick up on your cards, but this time, put your packet down. I'll show you two different ways of doing this. Put your packet down to your right hand side, bring it across, pick the card up, hold the card in the middle, your thumb in the middle, so that when you do that snap change, you can quickly pass that card out to them for them to get hold of. Thank you. And then you come back and you've got that card in a nice tenkai. Right, and they're wondering what happened to my card. You bring your hand over and put it on top of the packet as you pick the packet up. Again, only problem with doing this one is that is their card. You can lose it into the middle however you want to from there. Right, all the way of doing it, and it's exactly the same handling. So if you can do the snap change, you can do these. It's just different ways of doing it. Put the packet down to the left hand side. Now this gives you a little kind of an effect. Um, you put the packet to the left hand side. Again, you'll grab hold of it at the bottom near the middle. Show the Queen of Hearts. Do your snap change and pass out the Queen of Spades to them and pull your hand back in Tenkai. Grab the packet, but turn it to its side. And as you do so, it goes onto the table, you're getting all the edge nice and square. So when you pick it up, you can quite easily get a nice big pinky break. So you get a whopper big break there. As you pick the cards up and you come to this hand, and all you're going to do is slide that card into that gap. So we just go in to there, and it only goes in a little bit at the moment. It only goes in a little bit, but it's all hidden with your hand. And you're just going to use your pinky to come right behind it and guide it up into the packet so you can square everything up and come away looking nice and neat while you now find their card and don't forget the packet has been sat on the table all the time you just had hold of their card Bump. it's not their card you've only picked the packet up and turned it over and spread it out to find their card right in the middle how amazing is that yeah all by doing snap change slightly different see what other ideas you can come up with i'd be interested if you leave me a comment let me know what you've come up with and if there's any other day i might have a go at them even though i cannot do the snap change and i am holding my hands up to that it's one i've never really practiced so i get see what i mean i can't even do a click i get caught out every time i do it not so worry anyway i'm going to shut my face and get off um they were my problems i do hope you've enjoyed it as i say give it a go see what you can come up with and if you do come up with something please let me know um i'll see you again soon